to bring back an Egyptian art style to Smite really, really badly. So we were looking at maps that we wanted to do some design iterations on. We were thinking Clash and Egyptian art is just so cool and the environment's so cool we had to, we had to make that happen. We decided that you know, Clash needed a remake. Um, we, we read a lot of your feedback and we felt like there are a few, a few things we can do to make it a little better for you. We've had an Egyptian map in the past. Everybody really likes the Egyptian pantheon as a theme. They have cool, interesting statuary and architecture. Uh, and it's very different from the Greek locations. We worked with designers to make sure that we still keep with the, the same design specs of the old Clash, but that now we can fit it with Egyptian art. So we wanted to make a lot of changes to Clash, but somewhat keep it, keep it recognizable as Clash. So we're keeping our two-lane game mode with tower pushing, but with a series of changes here involving a lot of new jungle camps and a couple geometry changes. Each lane is arted out just a little bit differently so that each, each lane feel is, is different enough, but still fills within the same space. So we, we have a new mechanic in the jungle, uh, one that we have not introduced in any of the maps, and it's unique to Clash only. We have the typical red and blue buff, we removed the Harpy camp and put another blue buff there so that two people on the team can have blue buff. Now, at some point in the game, the jungle camps will evolve. So you're actually going to see the blue buff and the red buff get increasingly harder to kill and as well provide increasingly stronger buffs as the game goes on. And this also ties in with the new jungle boss. I've been wanting to get Apophis into the game for a long time. He's, um, he's kind of the antithesis of Ra. He's kind of a giant snake made out of slate. We did a bunch of various concepts to him, but man, he looks amazing. He's kind of um, viper and a cobra mixed together, and he's kind of 30 feet tall coming up out of the sand. Um, it's going to be really awesome. He is just meant to, you know, be the guy to cause destruction in the map. He causes chaos. He, sh he shows up in the middle, and he just does this giant entrance that, you know, uh, that team-wide damage. So along with the new environment and the new jungle camps, we also have the new lanes and towers and minions and phoenixes and titans. Those are all completely remodeled with a new art style. And actually the phoenixes have a little bit of a gameplay change to them where they're dealing a different type of attack that's more consistent and damage ramps up over time, more like a, a beam as opposed to a series of slower shot fireballs. And this is cool because, you know, if, if you can step in and out and try to like, you know, tank for your team, you don't have to be a guardian to do it, you can be anyone. But at the same time, it gets dangerous really fast if you're standing in the area. So you want to look out for that. If you're you know, taking too much damage, it's probably from the Phoenix. So it'll play a little differently from the other maps in terms of the way the Phoenix damage interacts with you. It'll make the Phoenixes a little different from the tower. I think it'll be definitely fun and interesting. You know, I hope, I hope players really have fun with this and I hope that they find it's a, a super appealing and I want to bring people into a world that, that, that they'll remember and want to spend as many hours as possible in. So a lot's gone into it, not only from a look standpoint, for, but from a gameplay standpoint. Um, and it's one of the things I'm, I'm the most looking forward to. I'm a huge fan of the Egyptian Pantheon. I'm really glad we could get some more Egyptian art back in the game. I think it looks amazing, and Apophis is extremely scary and fun to fight. Uh, I can't wait to see how the players feel about it.